I don't know my, why my voice sounded so soft there. Get some yo's. Hello. Just a heads up, I'm very tired today. My knees feel. I feel like I'm old. <laughs> I think it's because, like, I've been sitting a lot, and when I sit, I say crisscross. So maybe it's like putting more strain on my knees. Peace. I had a dream about being in your Twitch chat. Wait, that's like your reality. Back to reality. Oh, here comes gravity. Was it a good dream or a bad dream? <laughs> like, did you get banned or something? But, yeah, I saw the earthquake news this morning. Are you guys okay? You know, I'm surprised. I'm almost 25. I've yet to experience an earthquake. And Washington is like on a fault line. And also we got Mount Rainier around the corner. And Mount St. Helens. So it's like, when's it gonna blow? My house was shaking? Uh-oh. We had a big one when I was in middle school? Wait. Yeah, allegedly the only earthquake that I've lived in was when I was like a little baby. And you know, the rockin' was just normal, so I didn't cry. Allegedly, that's what my mom told me. Sorry, <laughs> Kobo. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get a Kappa Infinite Train, which is a level 100 hype train. Maybe one day we'll do it. Is my birthday next week? No. It's April 24th. We're just planning it during the sub-only stream today. So guys, use your channel points. I made it cheap so you guys don't complain. I think it's only like 100 points. The reason why I'm doing channel points is so people can submit multiple times throughout the day. And also, I can like copy and paste ideas to like a Word doc at the end of the day. That's far away? No, it's like 
less than 20 days. It's like less than three weeks. I gotta like buy shit. If I get a cake, I gotta order it like now. But yeah, it is a bit of ways. I'm excited. I'm probably not gonna be able to stream on Tuesday. Because we're gonna go see the Monkey Man movie. It's like the one day that everybody has off for once. Because my sister, dude, her work schedule like, changes every week. It's really annoying. So, we're gonna go see the movie next week. Am I gonna get a fancy cake like last year? Maybe. I have I have a di Wait, it's been five minutes. <laughs> Guys, face reveal in three, two, one. Yo. Um, no face cam today. Art stream. Also, I'm very tired and I have like a fat zit on my lip. And I'll be honest. I broke the habit. No, wait, I didn't break the habit. I reopened the habit. I've been picking at it. So there's like blood all over my face. So I don't think <laughs> it's fine. I I, I put an uh, antidote on it. So like I won't die and get infected. But I don't think you guys want to see blood. <laughs> or pimples are fine. Like it's not TOS for like a pimple pop. But ah, uh, that was really bad. Anyway, hi Kobobo, hi Mac. Welcome into the starting soon screen, guys. It is Friday, April 5th, 10.38 a.m. I'm live a little bit early, a little bit early. Mainly because I woke up at 5, because my sister, dude, she's, she's at work right now. She's doing a morning shift this week. But she wakes up at like 5. I hear her go clop, 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 clop down the stairs with her loud ass slippers. Wakes me up every single day now again. And she's still like... In the kitchen, she'll still slam the cupboards. You know, I loved when she worked in the evenings. That way she'd just be slamming shit at like 2 p.m. when she woke up. Anyway, so I've been up early. Yesterday I took a day off. I rested. I played Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> Classic. And then I also edited tomorrow's video. It's just about done. I just have to make the thumbnail. Um, no spoilers, but it's the Don't Drink and Drift stream. Finally, a YouTube edit is out. That's the one we filmed on St. Patrick's Day, not two years ago. Um, yeah, so that's what I did yesterday. And today? Plan is simple. Writing every single one of my followers' names, all I had, all, like, I think ten I've gained in March. Decent month, decent month. And we're drawing the top gifters of March. We had Vacantant and Golbobo submit a picture for sketch cards. Um, if you didn't submit a picture, just send it to me and I'll draw next month. Okay? And if you don't want a card, that's totally valid. Yeah, so that's the plan for today. The plan is simple. Oh, also, the check the pinch out. There is a new channel for redemption. Um, use your channel points to submit things we can do for my birthday stream in three weeks. My birthday is April 24th, Wednesday. I'm gonna do a 12 hour stream. Last year, I did mostly gaming. And I wanna do more things this year. Mac, you did submit good ideas. Remember? Um, just DM me, like, the whole list whenever you got a list done. Like, DM me on Discord. Because Mac had, like, a million ideas. But the premise for the birthday stream, keep this in the back of your minds. I'm turning 25, so I want to do things that a 25-year-old would do. So, the, I guess the two major ideas is rent a car. And then there's one more. I have a list on my phone, but I don't want to look at it till later. Oh, also I had a different idea for sub-incentive. I thought about it last night. Because I've been chirping with my sister too. Oh, you guys want to hear some good news? My sister said she might want to try streaming. Like, not on her own. And Because she and I started playing uh, Mafia Definitive Edition last night. Because she, she bought it years ago, but she forgot about it. So we're playing it together. And it's- dude, she's like so funny. <laughs> so... Why are you guys hunting? This is like good news. She said that she might want to try. She's like, she's been asking me like for the past few weeks. She's like, should I try streaming? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if you'd be good at it. I mean, I don't think I'm good at it. Okay, I think I'm decent, but I'm not like, I'm not popping yet. And she and I were talking and she, she thinks like doing like story games with me would be fun. Because obviously she doesn't like talking to people. So... She thinks, like, playing, like, Mafia or Ghost of Tsushima with me on stream would be kind of fun. But obviously, it would be VTuber. And she would have to think of an alias, because, like, I can't call her by her name. So she'd have to think of a pseudonym soon. 
Anyway, she and I were talking about last night because <laughs> there were so many funny moments when we were playing Mafia last night. If anybody's played, we were stuck on the racing mission for like an hour. It took me like, because every attempt is like five minutes, five to seven minutes. And it took me like five times to beat it. But you know what? I did it. And honestly, my Mario Kart skills gave me a clutch. But it was so funny. Because she was giving me so much shit. Because, like, she's really good at the driving segments, but not the racing car. Because the racing car handles so differently in the game. That'd go crazy. I know, right? It's really funny. Because she doesn't seem like the type to, like, want to... Tr Oops, I hit my camera. To want to try broadcasting. But she's like, I see you have fun, so maybe I'll have fun. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. Also, hand reveal. Slightly? I don't... Okay, I don't, like, move on my desk and I would do these art streams. Whenever I start streaming art again, I will have like a separate table. Okay, that's my that's my laptop right here. There we go. Anyway. Yeah, so that's what I did yesterday. We we played Mafia for like four hours. Allegedly the game is ten hours, so it's probably gonna take us like fifteen. But yeah. Today the plan is simple. Writing all my followers' names and then sketch cards. So we have Vacantin. Not gonna lie, I like drawing people with long hair. I'll be honest. And then we have Kobobo. The sketch looks rough, but I promise the final will look better. It's really cool because Kobobo's picture, they put their their phone in their hand, like, really close to the camera. So the foreshortening looks wild. Like, you can see the hand is as big as his head. It was a really cool shot. I don't know if I'll get, like, all the shirt details. <laughs> I can put another wig on. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just, I just think long hair is really pretty. I like doing the, the hair textures on long hair. But you usually send, like, half body pics. So you can't get as much, like, uh, detail with line art for hair when you do full body pics. But it's okay. That means we just have variety in terms of angles, and that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna do the followers first, and then sketch cards. You guys know the drill. I think I've got about ten this past month. I had like five people unfollow. I will find you and ban you from the chat room forever. That's what you get for unfollowing the peace in channel. Okay, should we do a prediction? Do do do. Mess up any names. Hi, Drew. Can we get some yos? Hello. I'm gonna put the prediction over here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, also, after this stream, I will do a sub-only stream. I think I want to do Mario Kart. Not with viewers, but just to level up. Because after the St. Patrick's Day stream, I was editing and I was like, shit, my rank went down like 100 points. So, we're gonna level up today. Level up your gameplay with... I don't know. I don't want to show unnecessarily. But, um... Oh, I was looking at Mario Party, right? So, there's Super Mario Party and then Mario Party Superstars. Because I was wondering, I was like, what the hell? What happened to... I knew there was another Mario Party game on the Switch. So, I was thinking about it. Maybe I will get... Super Mario Party for the Switch. But the Joy-Con set for my birthday. Not for the birthday stream, but like if I get money for my birthday smile from like friends or whatever. Because I think the, the bundle set is like $80 when the game itself is $60 and then Joy-Cons, two Joy-Cons, are like $80. Bucks. So I was like, shit, you know, my Joy-Cons break all the time. I might as well just buy the bundle set. So I'm thinking about that. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Because my sister, <laughs> my sister's recommended is, is like, is like animal clips and then random gaming silly moments. So she pulled up this like random Mario Party clip and we we're trying to figure out what game it's from. And it's from Super Mario Party. And I was like, dang, I've never seen that mini game before. Because like my goal at some point is to have every single Mario Party game. 
The other Mario Party game is kind of not that good, but it's a good deal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because I just want to try all the different mini games. Yeah, if they, if they still have the Joy-Con bundle set, then I'll probably get it, like, May. But, oh yeah, I still need to buy the Peach game this month. Natural. The boards are awful in the other Mario Party? Really? I watched, like, some people play on stream and it looked kind of fun. Maybe it's because I was watching, like, the Saikuno crew play it. And they can make most anything seem fun. That's why they get so many sponsors. Ooh, that Y is clean. I do. Any Mario Party is better than Mario Party 8? Whoa! Whoa! You mean the Wii one? I loved Mario Party. What are you talking about, Goss? What the hell? Put a slash J next time. What? I loved it. <laughs> okay, also, let's see. What the hell? Oh, why is Chad in that group? I hate you guys. <laughs> JK? I, I bet you were shaking in your boots. You were like, oh no, I can't get banned from the PC chat room. You like Mario Party 9? What is this? Is there drama in the chat right now? Okay, also, I decided on your awards channel points. It's been a long time since I've had the I Gift You a Sub channel for redemption. I'll re enable it today. Since we're not doing peace lock today. There you go, it's re enabled. Also, I changed the sub goal. Guys, I'm at 60 subs. That's insane. That's crazy. Peace lock went crazy. Okay. Because we are doing a sub only stream, and I don't want to exclude anybody who has channel points who wants to get it. <clears throat> okay, I need to go faster with these names. But hi, gosh, can we get some yo's? I do want to do another stream where I try to do the all-star run in Mario Party 8, which I think is where you beat every single board game, which <laughs> that would be so long, but I think, not gonna lie, the Peace Lock streams kind of like break me a little bit. I think there was a week where I did like two or three days in a row, I, that like cooked me. Like, I'm used to doing longer streams, but I don't think I could do longer streams for, like, multiple days in a row. Okay, I, I kind of messed up that five. Yeah, st my stream hours were literally doubled. I did, like, 100 plus hours last month in February. For, or no, in March. Like, that's, like, unheard of. For me. I just have to... I think it's because I was enjoying it so much that, like, I didn't really care. If I was sore or whatever, but I should have paced myself a bit more. That's, gonna, that's what I'm going to try and do this month. Mainly because I know my birthday, since it's going to be a 12-hour stream again, that's going to, like, cook me. The only thing I don't like about Mario Party is how you have to play the minigames first in the board game before you can do free play. Oh yeah, I agree. That is kind of silly that they made it that way. But then, it gets their gameplay hours up because then it forces you to play it. 
Am I gonna play Mario Party for the birthday stream? Of course. We'll probably do Mario Party like near the end of the day because I'll be tired. And Mario Party is like really easy to stream because it doesn't require much commentary. So we'll probably do Mario Party for like the last two hours or something. I'm gonna do a watch along thing too. I don't know. We did the watch along for it was Christmas, right? Like the watch along was fine, but it's not like as fun for like VOD viewers. I really don't like how they took away Prime Video Watch Along. Like that was kind of an L because I was gonna do that for one of the like probably it was either gonna be Mario Party or a movie watch along for the birthday stream. But since they're taking that away, guess I can't do that anymore. Yeah, the Claudia with the Chance movie is actually pretty good. The only bad thing about doing the movie watch long is that my viewership tanked. <laughs> I had like. I think 10 viewers, and then I dropped to like 2 or 3, so that was kind of an L. But, that don't matter. It's because you have to have a Prime account in order to do the watch-alongs, and I think that's why they're taking it away. They might- I don't know if Twitch will like take away Prime, but they might reduce the benefits. That's what I think. Because Amazon is just hemorrhaging money with the Prime subs. And I do wonder, ever since Amazon Prime added the ads, even with the premium paid functions, like how many people unsubscribe to Amazon Prime Video? My friend still has it because he just has, or my roommate, he still has it because he still has Prime Delivery, but we just don't watch it anymore because the ads. So guys, click subscribe now. Use your Prime subs before they inevitably take it away. What do I already have planned? Um, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it during the sub-only stream. That way, non-subs don't get spoiled too much. There's so many people who have 89 in their username. I don't get it. Not everybody's like a 30-year-old, right? Okay, I gotta grab my water cup. I forgot to get it. Dang, water tastes so good. I don't get how people don't like water. It's so easy to drink. Like, the people who need to get, like, syrups or powders in the drinks to drink water throughout the day, like, I think something's wrong. Or you have a sugar addiction, one of the two.
I'm gonna go refine my list. Okay. Sounds good, Mac. Billy followed this month? I know, right? They've been chatting so much. They said when they first joined the stream, they said that, like, they've been following the TikTok for forever, but finally followed my Twitch only this month. Which, huge dumb. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I don't want to say I like chatters. I thought they were here longer. I know. I mean, that's how it seems like for all the people who chat a lot. Which makes sense. The more they chat, the more you get to know them. Quote, unquote. Also, I need to redo my nails. They're not as shiny. Do I have enough ideas to fill the 12-hour stream? Oh, yeah. Especially with what you guys have suggested already. Yeah. It's just a matter of, like, outlining how it and the aura I want to do things, too. What if, what if I tell you guys, part of the birthday stream is starting another Nuzlocke? <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, last year for every single donation I got, I took a bite of cake. I would chat like 30 bites, so I'm, I'm not, I'm probably not going to do that this year. That'd be okay if he started another Nuzlocke? <laughs> What if what if this channel just becomes just becomes like Nuzlag after Nuzlocke? Everybody would unfollow, right? Please tell me you would. It would be fun. Which month was eating chocolates for every sub? February. I still owe you guys like ten. But just say just say you forgot. It was February twenty twenty-three. Yeah, twenty twenty-three. It's weird what watching and editing back old streams from like a year ago and then also like back at my parents' house. It's so weird. I'm like, that seems like a totally different me. Cause it seems like every six ish months like my stream personality changes a little bit. It's wild. And, like, my cadence also changes, too. Like, the way I say things, the bits, my actual, like, pitch of my voice. I feel like my voice is, like, more normal. It's, like, more deeper now. It's weird. You're still editing clips from your parents' house? Yeah, the Animal Crossing streams. Uh-huh. I'm finally getting to Animal Crossing streams from November. Like, I'm literally editing the VOD a week before I move. It's wild. That's all like far behind I am. You know, I'm working by myself. Independent business owner. Even though I don't have an LLC for the stream. I think it's really funny. Whenever people try to make LLCs for their, like, 10 viewer Twitch streams. It's like, bro. You're not making enough money. To, like, be taxed significantly enough to, like, justify opening an LLC. And some dumbasses will use their home address as their business address when they're streaming. Which... Don't do that, get a virtual office. It's just... It's funny! Like, are you really gonna write off on your taxes buying video games? <laughs> like... And I've seen, like, so many Twitch tip videos where they're like, Guys, make an LLC for your Twitch stream, and then you can write off your rent, internet, and electricity bills. It's like... Yeah, theoretically you could, but you can't write off your whole rent. Because the way that working from home businesses count, because obviously I had to do this, um, you have to divide your monthly expenses to, like, occupy the space by the square footage of your working space. So your bedroom, most likely, or your, your homeroom. 
like your office room at house at your home so let's say you have a four bedroom apartment you, so like your bedroom your working room is only like a sixth of the square footage so you're only gonna be able to write off like maybe maybe three hundred dollars depending on the cost of your rent like obviously your monthly expense is divided by six in that case because one six of your living space for this example like you're only gonna be able to write off three hundred dollars a month that's like nothing like there's no point in opening an llc for your small streaming unless like you make a significant amount of money from subs ads and bids not gonna lie that's fire no it's so stupid like every single twitch twit any every single twitch tip account i see on like youtube or tiktok says to do this shit but it's like no you don't like you don't have to because like it's so much more trouble to even like report everything properly as a business like i know i had to do all my taxes for the piece and art because it's technically a ssp so like i had to do everything i had to outline everything i bought i had to which is good i kept like all my email receipts all my physical receipts too that way i could make a spreadsheet and shit but still it's like stressful because i'm like oh if i do the math wrong what am i gonna do I make. Can we get some yo's? You want to see your card? We're gonna color it later. Yours is cute. Vic has like little freckles. I want to give them stars for freckles. Anyway, deal the art. If you're a small streamer, like you don't need to make an LLC. You don't need to, unless you have like employees. Then, obviously, yeah, because then they'd have to be. You'd have to make like separate ten, forty forms for them. Ooh, I messed up that T. Wait, oh my god. Wait, what, what are you oh my godding to? What? Also, Vic, if you want me to mail out your card, I'll put these in the mail tomorrow. Um, DM me your mailing address. On Twitter, not in the chat. <laughs> what does LLC stand for? It stands for Limited Liability Company. Meaning, um... Ah... Uh, <laughs> Linklicious chickens? Are you hungry, Mac? Are you hungry? Um, it's a limited liability company. So that means, like, um, if an LLC gets sued, you can't sue the LLC for millions like you could for a major corporation. Because LLC and corporation, all the different business, I guess, differentiators... You can change them at any time, but it's in reference to like how many employees you have, how much um, income you have at the end of the year. So that's why you're not seeing like Amazon being a, an LLC because they're like a multi-billion company. It sounds confusing. Um, not really. It, they like on your on your state and city license licensing websites. Like it outlines the requirements for every specific type of business you can own. Typically, SSPs, which is what I have, is for if you're a sole, it's sole, oh fuck, it's like sole something proprietorship, meaning you only have one employee yourself and one owner yourself. LLC is if you want to have multiple owners and then a few employees. I think LLC, I don't know what it is. I think it's less than 50 employees, I think. It's, it's less than 100 for sure. And then you can upgrade to a corp. Anyway, we, we ain't there yet. I can't say the other word. Were you gonna say the word that rhymes with a punt? Huh? Okay, I need to get to work. I'm still, I'm yapping too much. This is what happens when I don't click go live for one day. Okay, this username is too big, it's not gonna fit, but I'll try my best. Isn't there a new thing where Twitch creators take a bigger cut? Yes, it's called... It's not Partner Plus, because it's open to affiliates too, but it's whenever you have a minimum of 50 Tier 1s, or Tier 2s, Tier 3s, for three months in a row. Then you get a 60-40 split. So guys, 
Wait, actually, March was a crazy month. I had like 15 tier 1s and 1 tier 2. That means we went up 5 subs this past month. Which for my channel, that's crazy. You need that? I, I don't need it. I don't... It would be impossible for me to have like 50 tier 1s at my size. I don't... I don't have enough blind viewership. Usually the people who have 50 tier 1s are people who average 100 viewers. Or like maybe even 50 viewers. Which... I don't. <laughs> I think it's clear that I don't. Or maybe they're all robots. I don't look at my live viewership during the streams. I only look at it like at whenever I end. Okay, this person's name is Zelda Kingdom of Tears. I thought the cut normally was 60-40? No. It's 50-50 for affiliates and non-partner uh, plus and whatever it is called now now. Is the music really loud? I feel like it's really loud. Let's do, let's do Kirby. We, I always pull up Wii Fit by default. Gifted do not count because, let's see, my current sub count right now is 60, but my sub points is 61 because I have one tier two sub. So essentially a sub point is how many tiers of subs you have. So if I had three tier threes, that would be an additional six sub points because a tier three is worth three times or cost wise it's worth five times as much as a regular tier one but it's worth three times as many points as a sub one or a tier one sub if you go to the twitch help article if you just google um twitch sub points meaning it'll take you to a a twitch help article that explains it if you, if anybody is a streamer and they're interested or they're confused just look up the twitch help article yeah, Vic, you're a tier two. You have a little silver flare on your flower badge. That means Vic made Peace in History my first ever tier two sub, and they give me an extra five bucks a month. That sucker. <laughs> but thank you, Vic. I personally don't, like, offer any incentive for a tier 2 or tier 3 because uh, I don't believe in elitism. But, because I, I don't want to offer, like, tier 2 or tier 3 emotes because then I feel like my chatters would feel sad because you guys like emotes. I think you guys would get, like, mad at each other. How many tier 3s would I need to get? Um, 50 divided by 3. I would need 16 tier 3s. So, like, legit, if all of my current tier 1s upgraded to tier 3, I could get the... the 60-40 split after 3 months, as long as you kept the tier 3. <laughs> but don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it. <laughs> that would be crazy. Nah, just give me your Prime sub. It's free. Or just, like, watch the stream like a normal viewer. That's so annoying that gift subs don't count. You know why they do that? Because all... That would need to happen, as I'll be like, guys, gifted subs count, and then somebody would gift, like, 50 subs, and then, and then I would get a higher split. Like, I, I feel like that's also not fair. Like, Twitch would just be taking L after L of gifted, gifted subs counted. So, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how many characters in this person's name.
Okay, this person has chatted before, but their username is kind of silly. I won't play the Peach game for my birthday stream. I'll do it for like- I'm, I'm gonna beat the whole Peach game in one sitting. If I buy the game. Because I think the game itself is like 8 to 9 hours, so it'll probably take me like 9 to 10. But if I speed run, I can get it done in like an hour. I feel like this person's username is like a secret code to get into a safe that's like buried away. Yeah, I did play the Peach demo with my sister, and I did some of the... It was the sword level, and then the baking level. I thought the baking level was fun. Which I said, from the start, they should just make a baking sim with Peach in it. I think it'd be cute and fun. But Nintendo doesn't want to do it. Because apparently that would be sexist or whatever. <laughs> no, but like, imagine if they actually, like, the Peach game was a begging sim. Twitter would have, it, it would have broke their brain. Ooh, that X is literally perfect. All the blue-haired libs on Twitter will be like, How dare Nintendo make Peach's solo game a baking sim? How sexist. Blue-haired libs? Excuse no, you have purple hair. I'm not talking about you. Obviously. The joke is blue-haired SJW. It's not purple hair. Purple hair means you're gay or bisexual. <laughs> Dude, that was so hard to deliver without giggling. <laughs> Definitely gay. <laughs> Wait, is that why people think I'm straight? I don't have colored hair? Guys, should I dye my hair? Maybe then I'll get a girlfriend. Okay, this name upcoming might look familiar. Yeah, Electra accidentally unfollowed last week. They lost their two-year follow age. Damn. Shame on you, Electra. Even though they were trying to give me a sub. <laughs> yeah, they were following for two years. They only started chatting a year ago, though. Or a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was kind of sad, actually. But isn't it also kind of a flex? Like, a, someone who only followed a week ago has VIP? I think that's a huge flex. Because Electra won Top Clipper for March again, the third month in a row. No, they only started chatting a few months ago. 
they started chatting in December, because <laughs> legit, I think the Winter Wishes stream, I think Electra, I think that was my favorite joke of the day. Which, if you missed the Winter Wishes stream, there's a YouTube video. Yeah, Mac has VIP until I beat the peace lock, so that could be like literally months. That was the deal me and Mac made. I hit my mouse. People put nightmare in their username like do they want me to be scared of them from the jump okay this person's name was nightmare shadow 2006 kind of scared Okay, we're getting to the final four followers. Get ready to spam me over here. Also, I felt really bad <laughs> because I posted this TikTok clip and it was me talking about why I don't have a thousand followers on on Twitch, and it was me talking about like deleting follow botted followers, but then I gained like 20 followers on TikTok, and I was like, no, I don't mean to farm. And then I also gained like five Twitch followers that same day, and I was like, shit, this is not what I wanted. I was just trying to spread awareness about follow botting and like inflated viewership. I didn't want followers. <laughs> I feel bad because like people are gonna see it as me farming, but it's like, no, I'm not like trying to farm. I miss my name? Yeah, Vic. I, I don't write everybody's name every month. That would be insane. Wait, Vic has been following for over two years. March 26, 22. That's crazy. Yeah, you're probably you're probably in my first follower book. Like, you gotta be. I'll find it one day. Whenever I click end stream for the last time ever, I will go through all my followers' names. I'll do it. Which won't be for a long time. Unless... Unless, like, everybody becomes a hate watcher, then what would be the point, you know? That'd be so sad. I know, right? That's what, that's what I'm, like, actually scared of. Because there is, legit, a mega fan to a hate watcher pipeline. And it usually happens whenever a streamer gains viewership. Because then the viewer like gets really annoyed that they don't get attention anymore and then they start hating you and then they start hate watching and then they make clips that make you look sus and then you have to ban them and then the viewers start sending like messages through like donation tts and that's the only way they can communicate because you ban them on every single social media platform and then you have to like report them for harassment because like what else are you supposed to do and then just escalates further so guys can we all make a promise to not become hate watchers can we peace out to shake in the chat can we promise? <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> now like, I can see myself falling down that pipeline. But that's why I stopped engaging in, like, discords or replying to creators on Twitter. Like, I don't want to feel like I need to give them attention, then also they need to give me attention back. 
I, I've kind of disconnected myself a lot from the from creators in that way. The way I best explain it is that I have a stalker brain, but I don't act on it. But then I also know how, like, a grocery stalker would think. My brain's broken. Anyway, last two names. If you follow right now, if you follow right now, I'll write your name right now. It's crazy. Today only. I appreciate that, Vic. It's always good to, like, as the creator, to explicitly state your boundaries, and then also as a viewer, acknowledge and respect boundaries. Like, a huge boundary that I have, that I talk about sometimes, is I don't like when people message me. I'm like, when they're like, hi, how you doing today, Peason? I'm like, I don't like this. And then I don't respond. And then they stop, and it's cool. Like, nobody has ever crossed that line. But a big thing for creators is you have once you have a rule you cannot you cannot like skirt that line yourself people have message how you doing today yeah like a one off message like on instagram or whatever mhm mm and it's usually like playground looking men like any time before i turn dms off on instagram Anytime I had a reel pop off, I would get like one or two DMs every day. Or every single time a reel popped off. And it would either be like a little zoomer or like a playground man. Nothing in between. That's so weird, I know, right? I think it's because on Instagram in particular, like, people go to that platform to, like, admire people. I think it's the best way to word it. I'm gonna go for a quick run. Okay. Wait, Vic, um, I'll do Cole Bubbles for car card first, and then I'll work on yours. That way, when you get back, I'll be working on yours instead of having it completely done. Dude, why are you going on runs and shit? An actually well-developed adult? I can't even speak, holy fuck. <laughs> I'm such an awe. <laughs> Dude, I've never been a runner. Even when I was physically able, I could never run. Looking back, it's because my spine was fucked up. That's why I couldn't run. <laughs> but I like walking. Because when you walk, you can, like, take in your environment. I think that's a lot more chill. Wait, I did do track in elementary! Thank you for reminding me, Kobobo. I did track in 6th grade. No! It was 5th grade! It was 5th grade, because I changed schools in 6th grade. And I was doing the, the relay race. And for me to, like, picture me running, right? So, I had this really weird thing where if I didn't see my feet moving, I couldn't run or walk. I don't know. Maybe I'm autistic. <laughs> My sister said I might be, I might be not. So I'm not being ableist by saying that. But in order for me to run, I had to like look at my feet. So the whole time I'm sprinting, granted I was one of the fastest sprinters, okay? If I would have trained, I could have been Olympic by now. So when I'm running, I had my head tilted down. Wait, you guys can't, s okay, I'll draw it. I'll draw it. So picture this. Like, you see some kid running, right? They're, this is legs. Instead of having their head up, like, facing this way... I had my head facing down like this. <laughs> so... I'm running, and my head is facing down. So me, with my little ponytail straight up, because I'm facing down as I'm running. I look so stupid. I remember, like, I remember I was watching my mom's video that she filmed on her phone. I was like, oh my god, I look so dumb, and I never ran again. Wait, Kyle? You're in chat? Hello, new follower. Can we get some yos? 
Ain't no way, you saw your name get written. That's so cool. Welcome in. Man, it's rare that we get somebody who actually watches the calligraphy streams. But hello! <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was the joy emoji. <laughs> but feel free to use the follower emotes, man. Oh, I gotta cross the T. There we go. Did they just follow? Yeah, they followed two days ago. Nice handwriting. Thank you. Thank you. I do this follower journal calligraphy every month. Because the, the gimmick is I write all my followers' names, which is true. I have a whole journal. And then also, at the end of every stream, if you like the calligraphy, we do it at the end. You can use your channel points. Guys... Stop the timers? That took 40 minutes. Okay, I was yapping too much. I was playing catch up with you guys. So, everybody who followed during the month of March? Man, I had more than I thought. It said I only gained like 8, but I guess I had like 20. Like people who didn't unfollow. Okay, feel free to screenshot. I will be posting these on Twitter later today too. Man, it's wild to think that Billy followed this month. Okay, where is Billy? He should be here by now. Maybe he's only a Pokemon fan. Also heart stamped. Chatted to. FJ chatted to? Or J chatted? Man, Mother Electra, new follower, guys. New VIP. New follower. The mid Kyle. Wait, how many followers is that? Two? 16, 18. Oh, yeah, 20 followers. That's more than I thought. That's pretty good for a peace in stream. Okay. So that was everybody who followed during the month of March. Thank you for following. I appreciate you. Now, for the peace day resistance, if you give five subs, I will draw you. Hashtag real. Hashtag dot clickbait. So for March, we had a lot of gifters. And we had pictures sent by Kobobo and Vacantant. So since Kobobo's in chat, I will do Kobobo's card first. So Kobobo's picture, they sent me this selfie with the hand really close to the camera, so foreshortening. And then they also had a Sesame Street themed coat. Which, I don't know if I'm going to get all the details, but I'll at least get some of the colors, right? There we go. The other two didn't send pictures, and that's okay. Some people don't want to be on stream, and that's totally valid. You know, maybe some people don't like little gifts. They just want to support because they're nice. <laughs> yeah, the Yoshi card for Crystal was pretty good. I have it somewhere because... Wait, no, I gave it to Crystal because Crystal won a painting. Shit, I actually don't have Crystal's card. I lied. Okay, so let me change the title because we're drawing our gifters now. Gift, five subs, and I... Oops. I haven't seen Crystal chat in a while. I know. Makes me sad, too. Oops, I almost showed my lap. <laughs> Man, it's been so long since we've done sketch cards on stream. I'm gonna break out my Sakura Micron pens. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, but also, like, don't feel like you have to donate. Don't. Obviously, I appreciate it, but don't feel like you're obligated to do it. We do the sketch cards because it's something extra, and I want to 
give extra thanks to the people who are able to support when I'm small. Because legit, every single donation means a lot. You know, one sub is half a bubble tea. Dang, Cobobo's card is going to be so difficult. I'll do it, though. Did I see the wedding cake sampler things on TikTok? No, but I, I've gotten a wedding cake sampler kit before. I told you guys, for my sister's birthday. Because, dude, she's so picky. I went to the bakery, and for $50, you could try, like, 10 different cakes. But they had them, like, pre-packaged, like, slices in the frostings. So, and my sister only liked one of the cakes, so minus $50. <laughs> but she did order the cake that she liked from the sampler kit. I have pictures on my Twitter of the cake that I got for her birthday. That technically she bought half of for her birthday. Wait, I need to run an ad, guys. Guys. We are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get added reviewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a subscription available. Do it now. Yeah, like it makes sense that they stopped producing the cake sampler kits because of high demand. But my opinion is like, why not? Because the reason why I got a cake sample kit is for my sister is for like accessibility reasons. Because she doesn't like certain textures, like obviously she wouldn't like a fruit cake, because she doesn't like the fleshiness of fruit. But for me, that makes sense. And I, if you obviously, if you go to any bakery and you explain your situation, they'll probably give you samples, you know, because they don't want to be ableist. But I, I do think it's kind of silly. Like people just wanting like a little bit of cake, getting sample kits. It's like, eh. Because to me, getting a sample kit is like a formality. You know what I mean? But, obviously, for the deal, why not? But, on a moral standpoint, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> like, for a cake sample kit, I would not get that for myself. But if either somebody was hosting an event, or for, like, accessibility reasons, then yeah. I think that's valid. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with a, maybe a number two or a number one liner. Do I even have a number one? I don't. Don't date and stop. Oh, I found it. I'm debating if I want to try the crumble key lime cake this week. This is the Sakura brush pigma pen. Look at this. Ooh, so nice. So nice. I'll use this for Vic's card. I was just looking at crumble. Yeah, me too. I was thinking about it. I want to try their key lime this week, but it's just going to be like a key lime pie. Oh, my number one is dead. Guess we're not using the number one. It costs more? Shit. Yeah, you might as well just get like a regular key lime pie from the freezer. It'll cost you eight bucks for a whole ass pie. Yeah, I'm not buying the crumble one. Screw that. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. Okay. Also, the f camera's going to be going in and out of focus. Because I have autofocus on. So don't freak out. Will I get crumble for my birthday? If they have good flavors. Man, your hands are gonna look so creepy. I want a fruity pie? That makes sense, you're gay, right? <laughs> I need to stop calling chatters gay. <laughs> I mean, you guys are happy, right? Um, Mons, I have LGBTQIA tagged. Do not worry. Oh wait, I have to end the prediction. Will I mess up any names? No. 100% perfect run.
I made your other fingers too long. It's fine. Wild. Dude, the foreshortening is crazy. Also, the humming is coming from my laptop. I don't know what it is. I think like a bee flew into my fans or something. But it only makes the humming sound sometimes, and I did update my computer, so... I'm convinced one day it's just gonna explode on me. And I hope it happens during stream, because that would be a funny clip. Otherwise, it would not be a good situation. Man, imagine having an Apple phone. You're such an elitist. <laughs> Samsung has been and always will be better. I love Apple. Do you have the Apple headphones too, you sucker? <laughs> Wait, do you have the Apple Vision Pro? I don't want to do the rest of this. The hand part is easy. I debated buying it. <gasps> no way. Don't buy it yet. Wait, wait till they're like three gens in. Because obviously the first model of any device is going to be like not as good. So wait like two years. And they'll have like two or three more models out, right? Man, I'm so bad at drying clothes. But then it'll be even more expensive. Yeah, I guess. But then wouldn't it make me wouldn't it make more sense to like buy the better product? How about everybody just like doesn't buy Apple anymore? Then they'd make everything really cheap. And then you buy them again, and then they raise the prices, and then you stop buying. 
and then they decrease the prices again. You know, beat them at capitalism. Okay, now here comes the hard part. I think I want to make the background for this card blank. Okay, this is looking kind of cute. I think I'll outline the short details with gray. I don't want to do black.
Super quick mile run. Wait, how long was it? Dang, that was actually almost exactly 20 minutes. <laughs> An 8 minute mile? Dude, it would take me 15 minutes to walk a mile in high school. It was horrible. I was horrible. Okay, we're in there. Stretching before and after takes the longest. Okay, I'll be honest. Anytime I exercise, I don't stretch. Which I probably should. I just hop on my, my elliptical and I bike for 20 minutes. And then obviously walking is a stretch, so I just walk. I do, I kind of want to get some dumbbells for my birthday. <laughs> that is so bad for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. But, okay, okay. Also, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go for a walk and then go on my elliptical. Is that fine? Any health majors in chat? Is that fine? That's fine? Okay, good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, the elmo on the top left looks kind of busted. We're just gonna ignore him. I was a health major, and then you became a business major. What happened? Was health not profitable? <laughs> You're gonna hurt yourself when you get older if you don't stretch? Okay. I should do yoga too. All my doctors say I should do yoga. That's for hippies. That's literally the reason why I switched majors. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I used to major in computer animation, but then once I started animating, I was like, shit, this is like not fun. So then I was like, I'll do graphic design, because that is like more versatile and also kind of fun. It's also more creative. Because animation is a lot of like you're rendering out the sequence, you're not necessarily creating the sequence. So it's kind of mid. Okay, this isn't too bad! I was kind of scared of this, but... This looks pretty good. The hand? That is pretty damn good. Okay, so I think for now, I'm going to increase some of the line width in some sections, because I, I really like the line on the hand. Also, that's arm hair. To clarify, that's arm hair. You know, Kobobo showed a little bit of skin this month. Yeah, see how much that adds when you adjust the line with a little bit? 
Okay, I'm just now remembering that I'm doing Mario Kart after this. I need to hurry up. I think some of my favorite inking that I've seen in a comic was in the Walking Dead comic book. There's a lot of black line art, a lot of solid fills. I remember checking out the Walking Dead like Ultimate Volume Editions at the library as a teenager. And similar to manga, it's so cool to see how like the artist's style changes throughout the years in serialization. I think I want to do like rectangles in the background. Because you know, Sesame Street is all about learning shapes. Also, it's teaching you to not be a square. like lanterns in the background like Rapunzel okay Leonard is done let's get the color Yeah, you can send me your address on Twitter. I was I said earlier, don't send it in chat. Like I said that as a joke. Because I don't want you guys to DLX yourselves, you know what I mean? Like some people are just kinda silly and they don't think. <laughs> but yeah, I try to send out sketch cards. Usually the next day or the following week. But since today's Friday, I can probably go to the post office tomorrow. Or stream. I would never do that. What? <laughs> it's kind of like the classic, oh, my brother was using my laptop and then he accidentally sent a slur in the chat because he had it copy and pasted in his notes file. 
It's that type B, you know what I mean? Okay, don't put W to saying slurs. Why are you Wing that joke? I did not W that joke. I only said that for the lurkers. <laughs> You know, I gotta watch the stream for full context. Or else I'll slander you. I forgot what I even W'd, see? You don't even know what you're doing half the time. I think you're a W and that I mail out the cards, I think is what you meant. Okay, this red is dead. Love this card? Thank you. Call me biased, but I think my favorite sketch card I've done for you, Cole Bobo, is the one you use for your PFP. Mainly because you have it as your PFP. <laughs> but I feel so honored. I'm using the fine tip to fill in. Because the brush tip on this red is basically dead. Wait, that's a dope picture? Yeah. It's actually cool. Guys, Kobobo's sweater or coat is like has patches of Sesame Street characters. Which I can't do for copyright reasons. I don't want to get in trouble with big Sesame Street. Wait, who owns Sesame Street? Does Disney own Sesame Street? Somebody looked that up for me. I love that Lil Mao is censored. Wait, is it? It is? I had to like manually re-enable Lil Mao in the chat room because Twitch saw that as a bad word. Because it has like a sec- It said- The first time somebody typed Lil Mao in my chat, it said- It said, um- Message hidden for context being sexual terms and innuendos. It's owned by Sesame Workshop. They own themselves. Okay, that's kind of a that's kind of sick actually. Hi Electra, welcome in. Can we get some yos? Wait, Electra, since you're here, you wanna see something funny? Since you are so naughty and you unfollowed, you got your name written again. You attentioned I almost said a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> you attention seeker <laughs> I've never said the W word besides in that context <laughs> that's the only time I'll use it I'm not saying it though <laughs> dude that was close I don't want people to hear me say bad words oh my god that could have ruined my whole Twitch career. Not gonna lie, when you said you had four followers left, I thought you meant you were doing all 800. That would be crazy. Um, the first writing on my followers stream I did was... It was... Oh my god, it was April 1st, 2022. Because the joke of the stream was, I'm going to write all my followers' name. Back then, I had like 200. And it took me six hours. Isn't that crazy? 
So that's why every single month, like, sitting down for that six hours to write my, I think it was 200 or 400 followers. Six hour stream. And I was speedrunning, okay? I was speedrunning. It was either 200 or 400. I don't know. I get, either way, it's kind of an L on my part. And after I sat there for the six hours writing games, I was like, holy shit. Like, every single person is like, every single name is literally a person. So that's why I do this every month. No matter if I get like 50 followers, there was one month where I only got five. And that's okay. That's still five people that enjoy what I do. Your dictionary streams weren't even that long? Yeah. Well, that's because like writing for an extended period of time, it's difficult because you have to like grip your utensil. <laughs> Plus five, yeah. <laughs> Plus five, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, those streams are crazy. No matter how big I get, I will always do follower calligraphy every month. Even if I get a thousand a month, which admittedly would be crazy. That would that would be a subathon every month, basically. That would oh my god, imagine getting a thousand followers a month. I mean, that would be cool, like, for clout, but, like, writing a thousand names every month? Holy fuck. Clippers? Do not clip that moment, okay? <laughs> Maybe- Dude, if I get a thousand a month, I'd have to do follower streams every week. I mean, even then, it'd be 200 a week. Ooh, I don't know. Your TikTok needs to have a clip pop off again? No, it doesn't. It does not. I don't need clout. You know what I do need? Followers. Because, <laughs> guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you need her, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you follow today, I'll write your name right now. I'm not even kidding. I'll whip out the follower journal just for you. Unless your name is sus, then I will not write your name. I'm sorry. I cannot get in trouble. I feel like I never get streamer clips on my for you p on my for you page except for you. Maybe the algorithm just knows that it likes me. It's because if you don't like seek out Twitch clips, you don't get them recommended. Back when I was small and trying to like, I wasn't networking, but I was consuming a lot of like small streamer content, like watching streams, chatting, and then like watching clips just for like research. Like I got a lot more recommended, but then. It's like with any algorithm, once your niece changes a little bit, they just flip it entirely on you. Like, now my For You page is mostly like art, people crying and trauma dumping, um, therapy, therapists like giving advice. Um, what else? There's a lot of... There's a lot of like, oh, if this happened to you as a child, you're like this as an adult. And it's about like trauma response. And I'm like, holy shit, I click on TikTok for fun. <laughs> Kabobo is, not... is not British. They're like the furthest thing from British. They're like a Midwesterner. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, Cole Bobo wants a British man. I deal me.
Okay, when I'm coloring this card in, this card, like, goes crazy. I was kind of hesitant at the start, but this is coming together nicely. This sounds like Doki Doki literature music, but I know it's not. I debated if I wanted to put Doki Doki in my stream playlist, but some of the songs are scary. Also, Kobobo, where did you get this shirt? Did somebody make it for you or did you thrift it? Or did you make it? We need to know. You bought it off a of Depop? Okay. I don't know what that is, but okay. Is it like an Etsy? Kinda? Okay. Oh, it's a thrifting app. Okay. I know they have like websites and stuff for thrifting clothes, but I can never do that. I have to see clothes to see if it'll fit me. Um, plus guys, girlies relate. I'm weird because, like, I'm plus size technically. But if I go to Torrid, even, like, a double zero is sometimes too big for me. Like, I don't get it. I think it's because, like... Wait. <laughs> it's because, like... My my ass and my tummy is fat. And I got broad shoulders. But I, I don't have, like, a big chest. So, like, nothing fits up top. It's really frustrating. Yeah, the rule of thumb that I usually do when buying, like, men's clothes is if you are, like, a girly looking for men's sizes, get one size down. And if you are... And then for shoes, two sizes down. And if you're a girly looking for men's clothes, do one size up, shoes two sides, two sizes down. One day, I just want to go to a tailor and have them measure my body. That way, I actually, like, know what size is... Like, you know on websites where I say, like, Oh, bust this size, waist this size? That doesn't mean shit to me. I'm like, what does this mean? Also, have you guys seen... There's, like, people who will make, like, a 3D printed... Like... Mannequin of you. And I've seen a few, like, seamstresses buy it for themselves, and it's so cool. But it's also hella expensive to get those mannequins made. That explanation hurt my brain. <laughs> okay, I'll try better then. Oh, I almost forgot to color in the phone. Thank you, Kobobo. Yeah, the phone is like golden rod. I'm just gonna make it peach. I don't really have a golden rod color.
Also, it may look like I'm drawing crooked. My camera's crooked. I'm actually drawing straight. But my camera angle's crooked, so I don't, like, show my feet. Okay, I think I got all the base colors down. I think I want to fill the background in with blank. And then it's done. Man, this card took 40 minutes. Holy fuck. But it makes sense. $25 for a card. About an hour's worth of work. Makes sense. Oh, this is a new Sharpie. I have a whole box full of Sharpies, so I have like a 20-pack. But I still insist on using my Sharpies until they're dead. That's like the... Brokey part of my brain settling in. Do we have any other artists in chat? I feel like a lot of my viewers don't do art. <laughs> oh wait, I know Electra draws. Because I, I don't feel like I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm much better at like ideas and composition than rendering. Rendering refers to like making the idea. Like physically rendering out the composition. I literally cannot draw a circle. Wait, watch this. You're gonna be so impressed. Wait, that was also- Wait, that was kind of clean. I can draw a whole circle with my arm. Like, if you extend your arm fully. I remember in high school, my art teacher, he was so cool. Uh, he would show off, because obviously every year, I had him three years in a row, because he was so cool. But every year, for like, in the first week, he would have like a little contest to who could draw the most perfect shape on the chalkboard. And he would show off, he was this tall, lanky, six foot two guy. And he would draw a perfect circle by perfectly extending his elbow in a circular motion. And by the end of the three years, I could do that shit. Okay, this circle, not perfect, but that's pretty damn good. Because when you draw, you should move your your joints, like either your, your either your elbow or your whole, or wait, yeah, your elbow. Well, you can't see my elbow. You have to rotate your whole elbow or your whole shoulder. When you rotate your wrist like this, you aren't gonna get as good a form because your wrist doesn't naturally move in a perfect circle. And similar thing when you're drawing a straight line. Oh, that was almost so clean. When you're drawing a straight line, you move your elbow down instead of moving your fingers or your wrist. I have a pretty steady hand. I was told as a child that I should be a doctor. But to be a doctor, you have to, like, be smart. And ain't no way I would have passed medical school. I barely passed art school. <laughs> Dude, I can't imagine being a doctor and then becoming disabled. Like, that has got to be, like, the... The worst thing ever. Like, that has got to be, like, hell. Anyway. Oh, no, I messed up. Look, oh no. Look, see, I messed up on that yellow square. 
shit, take back my art degree that I haven't even got yet because I still have outstanding tuition. Grey's Anatomy pl plotline? Wait, really? I've never seen Grey's Anatomy. I've only seen it like in passing, like at the hospital. I ask my doctor sometimes, like as a joke, like one of my one-liners is, hey, is Grey's Anatomy real? And they say no. <laughs> They're like, there is drama, but not that much drama. I'm like, okay. Makes sense. You know how, like, comedians get in trouble for lying in their stories? I think it's totally fine to lie. Because I was going to say, you guys know the story of how I ate glass. I wish the scenario was, I'm in the uh, I'm in the year. Fully, freshly eaten glass. Also, cool, but your card's done. Feel free to admire. I'm, I'm telling the nurse, man, I eat glass. And they're like, oh my god, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen happen. I'm like, yeah, it's like a Grey's Anatomy episode. And they're like, oh my god, it is. If I would have said that joke, that would have been a banger story. But I didn't. I was too stressed out. Yeah, I ate glass. Anytime I, I tell this story, Kobobo puts, like, silly emojis. <laughs> anyway, there you go, Kobobo. Hope you enjoy your card. I'll send it out tomorrow. Yeah, the glass story. I have, I have to tell it, like, every six months. Because somebody's always shot. I know. I'm messing with you, Kobo. <laughs> so the glass story. I got a coffee. No, I got a smoothie. I got a raspberry smoothie from a coffee place. I will not say the name, but it is a chain place. And I take a sip, and I'm like, crunch, crunch. Man, the raspberry seeds are really crunchy today. I drink the whole drink. I get to the bottom of the cup. There's little clear pieces at the bottom of my cup. I'm like, oh my god. That is, that is glass. Because I was wondering, I was like, why do these seeds taste so gritty, like sand? And I was like, holy shit, that's glass. And I'm at work, right? So I'm like, well, I can't leave work. So I walk, I work through the rest of my four-hour shift that I left, because it's already been two hours. And then I go, I, I go to urgent care. No, sorry. I go home, we call urgent care, we all call urgent care. And they're like, no, honey, you need to go to the ER, you ate glass. We don't have, like, the scan, like, the chest scan materials here. And I was like, oh, so I go to the ER. At this point, it's like 5 p.m. I've been up since 3 a.m. And the staff is freaking out, because they're like, oh my god, that's the craziest storm. I'm like, I know, right? And they're like, are you in pain? I'm like, no. So I had to get a chest scan. They had to scan my, like, stomach to see if pieces got, like, were cutting my stomach. But I was fine, because the glass- the pieces were, like, literally as big as, like, these Sharpie dots. So, like, by the time I chewed them, they were, like, sh tiny, tiny shards. <laughs> so, they were like, you know, we're gonna send you home, do you want any pain meds? I'm like, nah, I don't need that shit. I work at Subway. You know, that's enough. I need pain medicine for that, not the blood in my stool. So they were like, yeah, if, like, you see, like, a lot of blood in your stool come back, because then that means, like, your intestinal lining might have cut. But they said if there's, like, a tiny, tiny bit of blood, you're fine. And I was like, okay. I had no blood on my stool. It The glass fully passed through my deductive tract. And I was fine. Yeah, that's the story of how I ate glass. It was not those chains. It was not those chains. Wait, I don't... It could be a Washington train. I don't... Wait, is it? Yeah, thank god. And it was really funny, too. It was not Dutch Bros. What, what if I just say it's no to everything? I'm obviously- I'm never gonna tell you guys the name. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, okay, so th this is a- it's a regional chain, so it's like- it's like West Coast chain. That was just in Washington. Anyway. There you go, Kobobo! I hope you enjoy your card! I'll send it out in the mail this weekend. There you go. I'm so curious. I'll link it one day when I'm like a millionaire, so that way if they do sue me, I can afford it. But the craziest part was my dad, he got really mad when I got home, right? Um, oh, it happened like two days before Halloween, so I thought it was a prank. Anyway, he got really mad because he called the store back and they denied that it happened. Even though, oh wait, before I, w I left work, 
or after I left work and before I went home, I talked to the manager who like made my drink. And it was crazy because she was like, she didn't ask if I was okay. She didn't ask if I needed like emergency services. She was just like, do you want a refund? And I was like, and I was like friendly with the manager because she came into my, my store all the time that I worked at. That bitch. Anyway. I'll have to, you know what, I, I want to make like an animated story time of that story, because that story is like insane. That is going to be the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. But anyway. Guys, the Peace and Animated channel will happen one day. Okay. Moving on. Now we're going to work on Vacantin's card. They gifted a lot of subs last month. So this is going to be your first portrait card. Now, Vacantin has liberal purple hair. Their roots are coming back in. So I'm going to try and emulate that. <laughs> Since you're broken, you can't get your roots done? Well, out. The roots are on purpose? That's what they all say. That's what they all say. And they also have little freckles, so I kind of want to do stars on the freckles. Okay. Let's get to inking. I personally love doing long hair, so I'm gonna go in with the Sakura Pigma brush pen. As you can see, effortlessly go thick to thin. So clean. Oh, it's black roots? What? I'm scratching my head comically. Okay, so usually whenever there's somebody with hair, I usually do the hair first. Let's go. So usually what I'll do is I will do the parts of the hair with a thicker liner and then I'll go in with a finer liner. Dude, I love the brush pen. Holy shit. Yeah, this line was a bit messy. There we go. I need to outline your chin first. Going in with a number two. I mean, that's like too thick. Ah, it's whatever. You're so good at drawing? Thank you. You know what drawing is? It's just knowing how to use your tools. As with any skill, the more you do it, the better you get. I personally, I love line art. If you scroll down on my Instagram, you can see all my old artwork. Which... I'm not gonna say it's cringe, because all art is cringe. But I love line art. I want to learn, like, traditional, like, ink and pen. Like, my sister and I, we were looking at, like, we are trying to find books that explain how to do, like, traditional, like, Japanese calligraphy. Like, the character art. To clarify, we're Japanese, so we're not being, like, weebs. But, like, I want to learn it at some point.
That looks too flat. Okay, watch this. Ain't no way! Thank you for the resub reading! Thank you. A tier 1 sub? Ain't no way. Can we get some weenies in chat? I think you might have a new badge now. Is this cutie lead? No. It's another lib, though. <laughs> Wait, Rainy, you have a rose badge! You know what, Rainy? This is the finale of the Bachelorette, where you take this rose, or this heart thumb, <laughs> a rare rose chatter, everybody. Hope we're doing well. Guys, Rainy's gonna actually click go live this month. Make sure you follow her. I'm blushing. Rainy just kissed me, guys. <laughs> Wait, she has a boyfriend. Is this cheating? <laughs> Am I in trouble? He said it's cool. We're in, boys. You made my eyebrows look better. <laughs> They're not even lined in yet. Don't worry, I'll ruin them. Should I give you a little slit because you're a lib with purple hair? Yeah, I'm gonna keep making purple girl jokes. You know, I think eyebrow slits look so cool, but I could never do it. I think it's because, like, I have really thick eyebrows. It would be very noticeable. Like, I'd be walking around town with my rainbow jacket. They would point me out immediately and call me a slur. Oh, that look that shape is bad. You know what's funny? I live in Washington State, very liberal, right? I get so scared of getting hate crimed, but that doesn't happen here. You only get hate crimed if you're like not queer. <laughs> Are you kidding? Hate crimes still happen. <laughs> It was not Pete's coffee. You're not gonna get it. And even if somebody guesses the coffee place where I'm not gonna say yes. I don't wanna get sued, even though I experienced a traumatic event. You know what else is traumatic? Being a non-sub, because you know what happens to the non-subs? They get in big trouble and they have to watch an ad every hour. That's right, because guys, we're two hours in a stream. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. Click subscribe, see if you got a Prime sub available. It's free. Do it today. And if you subscribe, you get to watch a sub-only stream that'll be in like an hour. We're gonna play Mario Kart. By we, I mean me, because I need to rank up. <laughs> so get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, 
get back to work. I need to start speedrunning. Okay, honestly, the brush pen goes crazy. I love it. I messed up this shape on the side. It's too flat. Also here, it's too flat. Okay, that kind of fixed it. Oh no. Now that we have the major thicker line working, I'm gonna go in with a... Maybe not a number... No, I like the number two. I like the thinner line words. That way I can get a bit more shape definition. Today was the day I found that you could zoom in on a stream. Wait, that's a thing? I just learned that. How old is my account? I think I made my account in 2020. You know, I bet that zoom function is great for Amaranth streams. Anyway. To clarify, I love ammo. So I don't know why I did this curly cue in the corner. Fue un error. No sé cómo. Oh, how do you say fix? Mezclar? No, mezclar is. To smash, no. <laughs> it's to put together, I think. Mezclar? I'm, I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo. I'm trying to keep up with the woke persona. Did I see the new sad Duolingo icon? It was ice, right? I didn't enable it because I didn't want it to be sad.
I think this part came out pretty good. Okay, I think the line art for the hair is done. That took 10 minutes. Now it's done. You're not balding that much. <laughs> I just had deja vu make, making that little joke. Now for the face. I'm filling your top lip in with black because you kind of got a thin upper lip. Not saying that to be mean. You are white though, so that is ex to be expected. Dude, how do you have no bags? I mean, I mean like eye bags, you have like... I know you wake up early for work. I was on vacation that week for the picture. <laughs> Okay, you chose a good one then. <laughs> I do, Mew. The fact that you remembered? Yeah, I'm parasocial with my viewers, obviously. I have less than 10 viewers. Of course I remember everything you guys say. Oops. 
the shoulder would be here. Oopsie. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the background yet. Okay, all the line work is done. The moment of truth. I put an accidental black line here because that was where the shoulder... Wait, where would the shoulder be? Wait, no. I don't know. I don't know anatomy. I'm a graphic designer, not an illustrator. Very nice show. I know. I messed up. I do have white out though, so it's fine. Okay. Honestly, the hair is the best part. The eyes are a bit rough. It's fine. Why does this boost my ego? I say this to everybody. All my viewers are cute. for freckles. You do really have cute viewers. We're all good looking. Yeah, everybody's cute. I think cute is a harmless word. Like, I'm not gonna say everybody looks smashing. You know, I can't say that shit. with Auburn. This sounds like Pokemon music. We already hear enough Pokemon music. We don't need more of this. Yeah, let's do this one. Animal Crossing. up the chin line here. Oh, I went in with the thicker pen. Oh my god, that could have been bad. I'm gonna give you a giga chad chin. A what chin? A giga chad. It means cool. Okay, I'm gonna make the shirt black. Oh, I should not make the shirt black. It's too late. Too late. This was a mistake. Fue un error.
It looks good. That's what you think. You said you can't even draw a circle. <laughs> okay, either way, I can fix this hair shape a little bit. There we go. I kind of like that. It looks a bit chopped here. To fix this line... Mm. No sé qué por hacer. I don't know what I can do. I kind of want to make the background yellow. Ooh, I have an idea. I'll do thick lines cascading out from the center. I got it. And then I'll color it in with yellow. Yeah, it's fine if I draw on my desk. I don't care. I got lots of paint marks on it. Como se dice, I don't care. No me importa. Yo. It looks cool. When you're drawing, even when I draw offline, I like to have my camera running because when you're looking at your drawing, you're probably looking at it at like a like a 35 degree angle, not like a straight bird's eye. You guys can't see my face cam, but I'm always glancing back at my OBS preview. That way I can see how it looks like from a front facing angle instead of a diagonal. Because when you're it's essentially if you're looking at your drawing at this angle. So that's why sometimes when you look at it from a bird's eye, it can look elongated. There we go. Fix that mishap line. Now time to color. I'm going to fill in the background first. Because you don't want to mix the purple with the yellow. I don't want to do a bright yellow. I'll probably do a golden rod. No, that's orange. I'm gonna do like a, a very light orange in the center. That way it'll kind of blend out with the yellow. Hopefully. Film bows don't blend well. They sometimes do, but depends on if they're in the mood or not.
This is personally why I really like black and white line art pieces, because you can show so much with just line work. You can shade, add depth. I think one of the first pieces back when the art website relaunches, I want to do more with like ink and pen. Because I think that's where I'm, where I'm my strongest. Where I'm my strongest. Okay, so since I'm trying to blend out the colors, I'm going to start at the inside. Oh, this yellow is dead. <laughs> Not this one. I'm going to start at the inside. That way I'm putting yellow on top of the orange as well. Okay, it's not blending. I hate Tombow. But it's fine. Now, Vic, I would like to make clear. Usually, the first card I make for people is the best you're gonna get. Because <laughs> I'm trying to win you over. Like, Kobobo has gotten... I think Kobobo's gotten, like, 9 or 10 cards. Kobobo's gotten some crazy cards. Because, you know, the more cards you get, the more experimental I can be. This is literally amazing. Thank you. There was also a phase in my life. This was literally right before pandemic. I was trying to learn caricature. Like, I got books. I was practicing. You guys will never see it. Because I'm, I'm not that good at caricature. But I tried applying to, like, a traveling caricature company. Because they do boots at, like, fairs and events and stuff. And you can hire them out for like private parties and I was going like I was emailing back and forth I was like crossing my fingers I could get an interview but then pandemic happened and then they only did remote illustrations for people so you know I could have been at the fair damn I do think caricature would be really good for me because you know I could riz you know yip yap and a lot of caricature is knowing form and how to like use the brush pens, which I'm adequate at. I maybe I should do a caricature again. I should relearn it. Okay, now for the moment of truth, the hair. Now Vicanton has purple hair. It's got this, like, neony hue to it. It's a medium purple. With, like, bright blue accents, kind of. The hair is the best part, no pressure? Don't worry. I will not throw. So I think the strat is, you go down with a pink. And then, Pupura. Or maybe, because since these aren't Copics, you can't really blend. So it's like the order in which you layer the colors. Okay, pink first.
Okay, so it's gonna be pink, purple, periwinkle on the ends with a very little bit of light blue. It. We got dark brown roots. Time for actual coloring. So I'm gonna go down with purpley pink first. This looks more pink in person. I have slight color correction on my camera. What time is it? It's only 1 p.m. Okay. I've been starting stream earlier in general, like at 10 a.m. I know my schedule says 11, but it's because since my sister is working like a normal shift, she and I can hang out more. Not gonna lie, I kind of missed her. And it's so cute because she likes eating dinner together because usually we would just like eat in our own rooms and stuff. But she's so cute. She's like, do you want to go eat dinner together? <laughs> it's really sweet. You guys will meet her one day. Oh wait, the roots aren't purple! Oopsie. I'll fix it. You know, brown will cover the purple anyway. I gotta do it on both sides since I fucked up. Every onion has layers. You just take off the bad ones. They're just like apples. <laughs> Oops. Ignore that. Ignore though. I got white out. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't know this stuff. Sakura jelly rolls, some of the best gel pens you'll ever get. Got them for years, they never die. See, clean! You'll never know. The pink hair and lip? Yeah. Got the purpley pink layer down first. Now, for medium purple. The fine liner side I forgot on these pens. These are my 10 mitts knockoff tombos. They still work good. I'm gonna make the hair near the bottom like fully purple and then half pink purple and then fully brown at the top.
just going over with a very light lavender to kind of blend a little bit because I didn't like how scratchy layering the purple looked. Very subtle, but indirect lighting, it makes a difference. Okay. Now for the middle part, I'm gonna try and do half and half. So only filling in every other thread of hair. I kind of like how it looks striped in the center. Center part is done. Now for the roots. I'm gonna go over first with the very light tan. Just so the change from purple to brown is not too super drastic. Even just putting the light tan on top, it's pretty close. Maybe flubbing and putting purple on the whole thing was the strat. Yeah, I don't even think I will need the darker brown for the outer parts. I can just keep layering the tan. a little bit of the normal brown just to make the center part look really dark That looks pretty solid. Drop the pen.
Now for the eyes. They're ice blue, but they look a little bit hazel. Adding a periwinkle to the edges. That way they're like a little purpley blue. This photo. I'm gonna fill in the eyebrows a little bit because I think you pencil yours in. I'm not saying that as like a diss. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so that there's a little bit of brown in it. I don't do anything to my brows. Oh, they look like they're, like you put like a little bit of shading in. What I'm trying to say is that they're good. No, watch this. Now you're not dead. There we go. That was another 40 minutes. You're getting your $25 worth. There we go. The Canton's first card. Thank you, Vic. Once again, thank you for gifting the subs last month, too. I'm bending the card because it was warped a little bit. Imagine I... Okay, guys, that wraps up today's stream. What did we do today? Wrong. Oops. Oops. Man, floor review. We were all the followers' names from February. Go for your screenshot if you see your name. I will be posting these on Twitter as well. Electra. <laughs> there we go. We had twenty followers during the month of February or during the month of during the month of March. Thank you to everybody who followed. I appreciate you. And we had two sketch cards. One for Gobobo. I think they're like 10th or 11th card. Honestly, it goes a bit crazy. And first ever card, oops, for Vicantin. There we go. 
So I'll be mailing out these cards this weekend, probably tonight or tomorrow. Look for them in the postage. It should, it should take no longer than two weeks if it gets lost. Um, Take the L. <laughs> what I will do, which is what I usually do, I'll send pictures to your DMs. That way you get like a higher res version before you get it in person. I'll change my PFT to the card. Just put that I drew it somewhere in the picture or in your profile. That way you're not stealing. Even though, I guess you technically bought it. Anyway, but thank you. I appreciate that, Vic. Um, so these will be mailed out. Also, Vic, I know you're new. Um, for everybody who gets a sketch card, they get Pokemon cards. Because I did the Pokemon unboxing stream in October. So you get two Pokemon cards signed by me in the mail, too. As a bonus, until I run out of the hundred cards that I opened. <laughs> okay, so these will be mailed out tomorrow or tonight. Now... We can do calligraphy, normal calligraphy. Because we had one resub today. Thank you, Rainy. So if you use your channel points or subscribe, I will write your name right now. I'm not even lying. I would never lie. I chose the right streamer to watch? Of course. I'm going to put some of my pens away. I'm not going to lie. This pen, the Sakura Pigma brush, best pen ever. Buy it today. Hashtag not an ad. I dropped like half my pens as I was putting them away. Once again, thank you to Rainy Dames for the 18-month resub, a new Rose Bad Shatter. Thank you for your continued support. 
Do we have anybody who wants their name written? Use your channel points now. I'm almost at my year badge. How long have you been sub for? Well, half of them are like gifted sub vague, so that doesn't really count. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it says you're at nine months. You just got a flower badge. Thank you for the evening, Bobo. Scarlet. Scarlet is kind of an orangey red. Anybody else? This is your last call. Also, the reason why the camera's washed out is because there's a lot of sunlight in my room. It's high noon. Oh, this music is making me sleepy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for today guys thank you for watching any chatters lurkers I appreciate you for hanging out today hope you had fun once again thank you to everybody who gifted during the month of March we had Kobobo and Vacantant who got sketch cards thank you for letting me draw you cards will be mailed out tonight or tomorrow and I'll also be sending you guys pictures of them before they get mailed Oh, once again, thank you everybody who followed during the month of March and early April. Thank you. Plan is simple. I'm going to rest, eat lunch, maybe a snack, and then I'll be back at like 2 p.m. So in about 30, 40 minutes, we'll play Mario Kart. And by we, I mean me. Because I need to get my rank up. <laughs> I'll do online. I'll, I'll tr stream ends when I get AK rank. <laughs> Wait, no, I should not say that. <laughs> Yeah, and then tomorrow, peace lock. Sunday, I'm taking it off. I'm hanging out with my sister. She's going to try boba for the first time. She's finally going to try it. Um, And then Monday, peace lock. Tuesday, I'm going to see the Monkey Man movie, so I'm not going to stream. But yeah, that's the plan for the next few days. So, if you want to watch the sub only stream this in 30 minutes, click subscribe right now. And give Twitch the $5. Mm-hmm. Okay, seriously, thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Yeah, get your homework done. Also, at the end of Mario Kart, we're planning my birthday stream, so get your ideas ready. I think today we'll work on, like, a loose outline of the plan. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a meme. Not my Apple Watch going off. <laughs> Dang. All the elites in chat with their Apple phones and Apple Watches. And you guys make fun of me. For having two phones and two laptops.
Oh my god, Connor Reed's Pants is doing Fortnite Friday with Elmo this week! <laughs> Dude, Connor Reed's Pants, underrated as shit, but one of my favorites. Okay, I'll see some of you guys in like 30 minutes. Subscribers, make sure you're here. Uh, just keep the stream open, that also works. Non-subs, I'll see you tomorrow for Peace Log. Surely, I'm beating the game tomorrow. I'm not lying. 